all the latest nautical technology you can fit under one roof, and it's called the International Maritime Defense Exhibition Asia 2017, or simply MDEX for short. Stay tuned in to find out more on this edition of Dispatch Pacific from Singapore. Before we look at what INDEX is all about, let's see why this year's iteration is of major importance to the Republic of Singapore Navy. Thank you for your hand of friendship since our early days. Together, we have contributed to safe and secure seas for all. More than 40 countries attended the ceremony celebrating the RSN's 50th anniversary, or Golden Jubilee. To secure Singapore's maritime future, as well as that of our region, Close and concrete cooperation between regional navies, coast guards, and national maritime agencies will remain critical. In total, 46 ships from 20 navies were on display. Of those, 26 were part of the International Maritime Review, or IMR. So this morning's International Maritime Review is far more than a celebration of the RSN's Golden Jubilee. It is a strong signal of a collective commitment to enhance the peace and security of our maritime region. One of the U.S. ships deployed to the region is the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS Sterrett, which is part of the Sterrett Dewey Surface Action Group of 3rd Fleet Forward. So this is a true privilege and honor for the uh, 16 of us from on board USS Sterrett to be chosen to uh, represent the United States of America in this morning's presentation and uh, series of events. And it's been fantastic hearing from each and every one of them that they really do feel that we are one cohesive unit in this area of the world. The gathering of navies around the world for the first Singapore IMR is also a testament to the strong friendships and extensive network Singapore enjoys across the world. The IMR was held in conjunction with this year's index. INDEX is a biennial event hosted by the Republic of Singapore and is one of the largest maritime exhibitions in the region. In a challenging and uncertain security environment today, having only good hardware and strong capabilities is not sufficient. Most of the security threats we face today are transnational in nature. No single country can effectively manage these threats on its own. To ensure a stable maritime order, as well as safe and secure seas, multilateral cooperation is key. IMDEX will once again bring together naval leaders and senior practitioners to exchange views on topics of common interest and how they can enhance Maritime Cooperation. USS Coronado was also present for IMDEX. After working with the RSN and other partner navies during an exercise earlier in the month. You know, partnerships are built into the Singapore DNA. They're all about partnerships. And so it was such a proud day for everybody involved to come together, all of their partners, dozens of uh, international partners, here to show their respect and their admiration for the uh, Singapore Navy. And uh, it, so I think that in and of itself is very important. And the fact that the, you know, the United States Navy was here with two ships uh, shows our commitment to partnerships as well. The CNO held an all-hands call with Coronado sailors to express the importance of their role in the Seventh Fleet area of responsibility and talked with media about LCSs being a critical asset. It embodied you know, this idea of modularity and the ability to improve over its life. Uh, we need to take that to the next level. I think technology has moved even since we designed and built the first LCSs. Ship design is one of many technological aspects of IMDEX. The three-day event includes multilateral exchanges, conferences, and a trade show with industry representatives. Another prominent theme of IMDEX is partnerships. But you know, that technology, if it's focused right, can really enhance partnerships, right? So it allows us to share a common operational picture. It allows us to use common systems, sensors, you know, all of that sort of thing. It allows us to communicate, right? And so, boy, that technology is, is really important to building meaningful partnerships. 
because without that, you know, we're not talking, we're not seeing the common picture. Very hard to operate together, to be interdependent without the technology background. But does Index focus more on new technology or new partnerships? It does both, very much so. Um, the technology side, uh, where a lot of us are working on very common problems like autonomy and unmanned systems. So it helps to know who else is working on those technologies so we can find partners. Very expensive to do those. No one has a monopoly on good ideas. So if we can find other nations, other comp companies that are interested in the same kind of technologies, we can work together. And we can share, uh, we share data, share people in some cases, and work together on things that leverage good ideas for all of our benefits. And just as important as strengthening military partnerships, solidifying industry connections is a goal as well. So if you think about our Navy's a design for maintaining maritime superiority, CNOs outline four major lines of effort. One of those lines of efforts, partnerships. Within that partnerships, two of those key partners are international partners uh, as well as uh, industry. So from NIPO's role, uh, in working security cooperation, we're a key feed for that lever of partnerships. Now there's not too many hands-on demonstrations as one might hope, but there are plenty of chances to get a feel for new cooperation opportunities. Uh, we have a conglomeration of foreign partners, heads of Navy, their chief deputies, as well as uh, industry and the technologists and the new development. So it's, the answer is it's everything. Uh, the engagement with our uh, foreign partners, understanding what their needs are, aligning those needs with what's important for U.S. Uh, foreign policy and national security, uh, and then filling in those blanks with uh, the industry representatives are here, uh, and the execution of accelerating those key efforts in order to achieve those security cooperation needs. The seas around us are strategic and will remain so far into the future. We must be able to find common ground to strengthen maritime security through constructive dialogues, cooperation, practical solutions, and common rules in dealing with security challenges we face. Safe and secure seas was a big topic during the International Maritime Security Conference where four Chiefs of Navies expressed their vision for a maritime region. Now, uh, next up, we have our third speaker. The rules and norms do not prevent growth. History shows that, on the contrary, they enable growth. These security challenges have the ability to threaten our interests, too, and those of our close allies. Right, what you find is a conference and the agendas in these type of events serve as a catalyst for the collective to get together. So. The agenda is important because it addresses some key areas of insight that's needed to, to kind of focus efforts of both the collective navies uh, as well as industry. There's also the International Naval Engineering Conference implemented in 2013. These were mostly leaders of navies talking about technology, so a lot of talk about uh, design and design for versatility. How can we use one hull to be available to do a number of different missions not just at one time, but over the lifetime of that hull. So reconfigurability, open architecture, any way that we can make our systems, which are very, very expensive, any way that we can make them more versatile to do more missions with the same basic structure is good for all of us. It saves money, it's good for everyone. Also, some talk about training, how we train our sailors and Marines faster, how we make, help them adapt to new technologies coming on board. Uh, but uh, good discussions today, good, good examples. Yeah, it's a very much a Navy and Marine Corps uh, effort we're doing here. Well, that wraps it up for this edition of Dispatch Pacific. From all of us at AFN Pacific, thanks for watching.